What do two nice Jewish boys, Simon and Garfinkel, have in mind when they sing about the sound of silence? I think they may have thought about the fact that in silence there is profound truth. Silence is when, where we go when we want to go beyond words to places, feelings, situations, and sentiments that words alone could not possibly capture. That's why the Amidah, the Jewish heart of hearts of the service, the Jewish meditation, we recite it silently, without audible words. That's why Maimonides tells us that if you really want to articulate God's infinity and eternity, you should resort to three words in Hebrew from the book of Psalms, Lecha Dumiyat Tehillah, which means to you, silence is glory. This is what philosopher Ludwig Wittgenstein had in mind when he taught us in his philosophical meditations in the 20th century that whereof one cannot speak, thereof one must remain silent. This is what God had in mind, allegorically speaking, when he told Moses at the burning bush that his essence is beyond the human cognitive horizon, that God is in God's own words, so to speak, I shall be what I shall be. This is what Elijah, Elijah the prophet who will usher in the messianic redemptive era, had in mind when the Bible describes how we attained the most profound level of prophetic consciousness as called mamadaka, the voice of slender silence. In silence, we find God. Challenge yourself during this difficult period to sometimes cultivate what psychologists call the capacity to be alone. Put down the screen, look outside, think, listen to the rhythm of your breathing, and connect to the spirit of the universe. Have a blessed and healthy day.